Hi, this is Dr. Al Kleckner. Uh, I'd like to speak to you today about irritable bowel syndrome. Uh, th this is a common uh, clinical problem that we see in dogs and cats where they many times will vomit, chronically vomit their uh, foods and have loose stools. Other times they merely malabsorb, so it's, it's a little hard uh, to diagnose. In cats, 70% of them will have a red line where the gum reflects upon the enamel of the tooth. In dogs, it's about 30%. Uh, but the interesting thing is, uh, when a general blood test is done, often much is not found except the allergic white blood cell that shows up when histamine is released called an eosinophil will be over 3%. Even though muscle labs say 1 to 10 is normal, that is not true. It's very, very simple to uh, determine that the pet has an IgA deficiency, so a mucous membrane deficiency. And with that deficiency, it not only opens up the food sensitivities, but also an irritation of the bowel, including the distal colon. So many of these dogs and cats will drink a tremendous amount of water, uh, will urinate a tremendous amount, and yet they're not diabetic, they're not hyperthyroid, uh, they're not all the other conditions that uh, often are tested for. Uh, if, if this is the case and you see this red line, which I call a gingival flare, uh, and you've got the clinical signs of irritable bowel syndrome, then it's very simple to do a, an endocrine immune blood panel uh, to show you what your pet has either inherited it or has acquired. And in this instance, it's very easy to uh, control with replacement hormones and management of the immune system. Uh, this is something that you find of interest or it affects your cat or dog. I'd love you to check the website on irritable bowel syndrome. Thank you for listening and have a great day.